Today's a good video that I'm excited to do, but also one that is fraught with potential problems and me maybe offending someone and all kinds of stuff. But my good buddy Smoke, who you've seen before, he rides a 20, 2020 or 21, I can't remember, Rogue Glide Special, is River Rock Denim. Cool color. It's kind of that gray, brownish, really cool kind of bronzy color. Um, we have done some stuff to his bike before, so you've seen us do, what have we done? I know we did the stereo, we did a wild boar two-speaker upgrade, and some other stuff to his bike on the channel here in the past. And he being the good buddy that he is, he wanted to go a little further with his stereo, and he didn't want to bother me. That's all it was. He just didn't want to bug me, and God love him, he went to a local shop. Now this local shop, this is that's where this gets a little dicey for me. Um, he went to a local shop, and things didn't go well. So I want to qualify that before we get into this, before even smoke gets here. I'm not calling out a local shop. That's the whole thing, is I want to make sure that it's known that I'm, I'm not talking trash about this shop. They, they, they're a good shop. They just tried to do something that's not quite as easy to do, and it didn't go very well, and so now we're kind of redoing it. Essentially, um, Smoke decided he wanted to add rear speakers to his bike. He loved the wild boar, wanted to go further in, so he goes to this shop, again, just because he wanted to bug me, and says, um, how do I go about that to add two speakers to the rear to get, get it louder, even louder? And the shop says, well, yeah, we'll add two speakers. And so he just trusted whatever they said they would do, and what they ended up doing was ordering a set of speaker lids, buying a set of speakers, installing those speakers in the lids, and then just wired it up to the existing amp. So they took the existing amperage, which was 400 watts, and just cut it four ways instead of two ways. That doesn't make it louder. You have to add wattage. We all know that. This is not like a secret. I think everyone knows this. You have to add more watts. You can't just add more speakers. Otherwise, the same amount of power is just driving. It might make it quieter because you're splitting it between, you're splitting the power to speakers that are back here, you know? So anyway, so what he's got is a good set of 6 by 9s and a set of lids that's not getting enough power. The other thing that happened was the shop thought they could paint the lids. And I, they, maybe they are good at this normally. I don't know. Again, I am not talking trash here. Um, but it did not come out right. Even the shop recognized they're not real happy with it. But they're not quite the right color. They're not, they're, they're not denim enough. They're too shiny. It's, it's, it, looks, it looks pretty bad, unfortunately. So what Smoke did is he said, I'll just take the bike. I, I don't know if he got a good deal or whatever, how that worked out. But he took the bike. And then I was at a bike night at his club, uh, open house, and we were BSing about it. And he goes, yeah, I got this done. And I looked over and I couldn't even, I couldn't lie. I looked down, I was like, first off, I was like, why didn't you just come to me? And, you know, bud, we'll do this together as, you know, buddies in a garage. But I'm like, ooh, that does not look good. And I'm like, <laughs> immediately. And he's like, yeah. So what I did, we're going to fix all this today. What he did, first off, is he ordered another amp from Wild Boar. So you can actually run two. How you do this with the Wild Boar system, it's real simple, is you run an amp for the front two and an amp for the back two. But the amps still go inside the fairing. There's no amps in the, in the back. But you add, you basically buy two of the exact same amp and they're made to daisy chain together and one will power the back speakers and one will power the front speakers. Now, um, so he did that. He has the second amp we need to get the job done. Uh, and that amp comes with, but all Wild Boar amps, just so you know, come with everything you need, whether you're adding it as a second amp or your first amp. They include the bracket and all that stuff. So if you're, if you're doing this, it's, you, it's the same part. You order the same amp, which I'll put all the links here. What I did is I reached out to my buddy at Adman Black and said, could you send me some speaker lids that are painted River Rock denim? And he was like, what's the story? And I told him, I'm like, we had a shop that didn't do a great job and it, you know we'd be happily do a video showing how what should have been done in the first place is they should have just ordered some lids that are already painted i don't know if they thought they could increase some profitability there i don't know and i'm not going to try and speculate but um it didn't come out well so that was money kind of wasted they could have cut the, the lids there's some decent cut-in kits out there you can actually buy uh uh hog tunes has a cut-in kit for bags it's actually really cool looking the shape and all that stuff so you can actually buy the speakers with the cut-in kit and all that stuff if you want to add do that. Um, but what I did is I got some good brand new Advan Black lids that came painted from their factory to match the bike, and the paint match is going to be perfect. So we're going to change the lids, take the speakers he bought, install them, add that second amp, and as a little surprise, I said to Advan, could you give me an attack headlight too? Because his bike's pretty badass and look cool in attack headlight. So 
He's pretty fired up. I told him about it. So we're doing an attack headlight, another amp, and we're going to swap out these janky looking lids for some properly painted Advan Black 6x9 lids. So when he's here, we'll get started. Feeling like a fucking influencer. So we did the first bag. I don't know why it was so difficult. It sucked, didn't it? It sucked. It sucked bad. It sucked, it sucked real bad. I don't, I don't know why. It was two hours to change a, a single lid. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Nothing was. Nothing was cooperating. But um, so we were changing one set of aftermarket lids for these Advan lids, and we, I don't know what it was. I think it was me with it's hot anyway. But we'll show you the difference because we've done one and not the other. And uh, this is just the speaker lid. All right. So Advan lid. The bike is shinier. We discussed discovered that. I think it's been sprayed with some shine juice or something, and that's made it not as denim-y. But so keep in mind, this lid has not been sprayed with anything yet. But it's color match, color match, color match, not a match, because it's real. This is more satin than denim. You know what I mean? And this is the one that the other shop did. That's the Advan lid. You don't know. This is the one the other shop did, and you can see from the reflection, there's just a lot of shine on it. And there's some imperfections and you know, et cetera. And I again I'm not trying to be snarky because it's not, you know, they did their best, but well that was the lids are kind of, the paint's kind of my fault because he wanted to redo it and I rushed him. I was like, no, just uh, leave it. Okay. Just so, leave it. Uh, so he wasn't happy. Like, yeah, he, he wasn't, wasn't happy with it either. either. Okay. But yeah, you can see it came out with some imperfections and just way too shiny for denim paint, even though there's juice on that bike making it shinier. But there you go, is the Advan lid that you can see is a perfect match. And we're good to go. And it has a drain. So as water builds up inside there, water's gonna come out of there. So those are, I'll put the price on the screen. I don't remember. I think they're, I'm not even gonna say it, because I always say it wrong. <laughs> so I'll put the price on the screen for how much those lids are. But they they accepted the six by nine speakers you already had. Whatever these are. So those fit in there fine. You just take the the guts of your lid, which is the latching mechanism and all that stuff out, and you transfer it over to the new lid. It's not not a big deal. So shouldn't be a big deal. For some reason today, for us it was. Now, we'll knock that lid out in half for less the time than that one was, and then we'll get on doing the second amp and the headlight. Much better. I mean, second one only took 20 minutes. So, let's look at them, not me. So there you go. So now those are both the Advan lids, and as you can see, they match right. Now we just gotta get a little shine juice on them so they'll match up, because I'm not sure what was sprayed, but you can see this is not as denim -y anymore. You can feel it, there's a cleaner on there. So we'll hit, I've got some clockwork shine juice, we'll try that and see if that doesn't make them match a little more. They're just more denim -y than the rest of the bike because there's, it's been lubed. <laughs> it's been greased up. It's been greased up. So, Makes it more aerodynamic, you know? Get better yeah, gas mileage. Go faster. It goes faster. <laughs> so now that that's done, the speakers are in it, the speakers are wired up because they were already wired. I gotta pull the face off so we can do the second amp and swap out the headlight and then figure out, I'm kind of excited because I've never done the second amp before. Did you know that, that I'd never done a second amp before? Did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> We used to be friends. <laughs> that was, it's just, it really hasn't been that hard. I think it's just, it's like a hundred and what? Yeah, it's like hundred degrees right it's now. It's hot as hell. And we got the fan going. We're chugging water, but it's just like, good God, it's hot out here. So, all right, I'll show you what we've done. Actually, I don't have to do that whole thing. I can just do this. All right, so. Did we talk about the second lid? Yeah, lid's done. What we had to do was figure out that other shop. We found issues, other issues we're dealing with, but which wire was which. So we did that, and yeah, I know the ECM doesn't stick out of the bike like that, but you know, had to take the tank off and all that shit and run a power harness. So, ran the power harness up and through and down and there, and it's all nice and dandy. And then we had to figure out how to get both amps in there. So we figured out the wiring. That's not hard, actually. When you buy one of these wild boar amps, they come with everything you need to put them in either a street glide or a road glide, and they come with the wiring harnesses to either install a two-speaker stereo or if you're adding it as a four-speaker. So that's, that's kind of cool. That's kind of confirmed all that. So again, one of these amps is good for two speakers. You buy two of these amps, you're going to have everything you need for four. Then you need speakers because if you run these into regular speakers, you're just going to blow out of the damn bike because it's 
they're they're 400 watts each so you're running 800 watts now yeah. So it is loud as hell, and that's the bike's not been flashed yet. So we got to take it somewhere. The dealer can they can do is they can flash it as a an ultra. I don't know. You may not even need to because yeah. it sounds pretty be loud. damn loud already, and pretty good. So anyway, but what you do, I called Wild Boar, and the best fucking like secret on earth. There's a bracket. There's vel Velcro on both sides of the bracket. You put one amp on the back side of the bracket. You flip it up under the fairing, up way up under there, if you can see where that is, and you bolt it to the frame, and then you've got Velcro exposed on the front side of the bracket. What you do is you put a plastic bag on the, on the Velcro of the amp you're trying to slip up in there. You wire it up, you slip it up over the Velcro, and then you pull the plastic bag out. Frickin' brilliant, because this Velcro... Has, it's it, like took it, it, it took everything we had to get the thing back off. So, I mean, yeah, so you put plastic bag between the Velcro, slip the amp up in there, pull the plastic bag out. Frickin' brilliant. So we got loud four speakers. Now, the last thing we're going to do is the attack headlight, which is right here. Don't drop, break things. Pull that plastic bag off. There we go. This guy. So, and the funny thing is, this is hilarious. I had asked Alan, I'm like, would you, would you, could you send me an attack headlight? That'd be cool on this bike. And he's like, yeah, sure, no problem. So he sends me the attack headlight, gets here. So you pull in the driveway and your headlight's out. <laughs> like, one of the four lights was out. <laughs> Didn't even know that. Wasn't even intentional. So we got a bad headlight over there to go in the trash. We got a new attack headlight to put in. Not a hard thing to do. This will take just a few minutes, but we'll be back. This bike's a jerk. <laughs> We're gonna see if some codes pop or something. We cleared them, but yeah. Neighbors love me. So I cleared the codes, but we'll see if any of them come back. Some of you are saying, like, what do you mean you cleared codes? That anytime you do stereo stuff, disconnect the battery, take the tank off, that kind of stuff, it's gonna throw a code. You know what I mean? So just videos on it, but you hold the odometer button on the left while you turn the ignition on and you hold the button to go through each. You know, look at the videos. I'm too damn tired right now to go through it. I'm telling you, man. I'm wore out. My phone's in there. I lost the Bluetooth connection. <laughs> Roll it back. There you go. It's not doing it now. Nothing now. Okay. All right. Something was just, we heard a little tick as he backed up. Something was just halfway in, halfway out, or that's fine. All right. It's fine now. And check your left turn signal, would you? Okay. Right. Okay. And then your high beam works because it's on right now. Okay, I'm just gonna check your rear. Just to, I'm not gonna check your rear. Let me check your tail lights. Oh wait, oh, yeah. <laughs> we were just looking at the match of the paint. It's spot on. You can see the bottom is shinier, but that's because the whole bike has been greased or something. So you're gonna have your neighbor detail it, and it'll be all. Yeah. It'll so you put like you put about almost twenty thousand on it in the last year, right? Twenty thousand miles in a year. Well, right South on. Florida living. Get to ride every day, and and no damn kid. Yeah, wait. Yeah, I mean, no I mean, no darling child. No, <laughs> no darling kid. child. No fuck trophies. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the next day, but still. So there you have it. Another satisfied non-customer because he's a pal. I, he's not a customer, but anyway. And I would say satisfied, but <laughs> there was a mishap. I got a, a text later that something we noticed. I don't even know if I want to say this, but I guess I will. Not us, but when we took it apart, there were some broken bits that maybe they didn't even know they were broken when we put it back together, but they were they wasn't us. There were some issues and uh, lost some uh, speaker grills on the way home because they were not proper. But anyway, so I contacted people at Wild Boar Hog Tunes and they were so awesome about it, they're going to help me out with some new grills. So we'll get that all fixed and I got a hold of not, I didn't get a hold of it. I went on Harley's OEM parts guy. I, don't, I keep saying this. If you got a bike, you can go on Harley's parts thing now, and there's an OEM service parts section. So you can order obscure little bits um, that you need for your bike. So, for example, the plastic clips and rubber gaskets for the speaker grills, I could buy. They're on the way. It was like 70 something dollars for two new rubber gaskets and four of these little obscure clips. Yeah, it's pricey, but I was able to get it. So that's a thing. But anyway, so yeah, we'll replace that soon, but. Those speaker lids, fantastic. I love the Wild Boar Audio stuff. It's great. Um, learned that that trick with the bag was great. I'm excited. So we're going to be doing a little more Wild Boar stuff in the future as we rebuild the wife's bike. Um, 
we're gonna do some non-traditional stuff that you might be surprised by, but it's 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 what we want to do with it, uh, and that'll be a lot of fun. But all right, so I actually have to jump on the ST now, run to the bank, do some errands. If you don't need a, a back seat or a trunk, you may as well ride the bike, right? And I got news that the chopper is done. I'm so excited. So I'm headed to chopper shop right now to uh, get him paid and all that stuff, and then we'll go pick it up later. But future video, you'll see what all Chopper did to my Chopper. His name is Chopper Chris. Uh, not Chopper Carl, I actually know more than one. That's a thing. If you know more than one dudes with the nickname Chopper, life is good. Anyway, so I'm gonna go pick that up and uh, we'll talk about what he did to it in a future video, but I love you all to death. Take care of each other out there. If you have not hit subscribe, please do. That's all we ask for. And uh, we'll talk real soon. Bye.